What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you guys how to bypass the jailbreak detection on Outlook and very light jailbreak detection on some other apps such as the Capriotis McDonald's app and USAA. There is a couple other apps that the jailbreak detection bypass will not work on still. I believe there needs to be an update for some of the methods, but I'm gonna go ahead and link down in the description all of the methods that I found that are working on A12 and A13 devices for the Uncover jailbreak. So let's jump right into it. first tweak you're going to want is App Store++. Plus Plus. In order to get Outlook working, all you need to do is download App Store++, Plus Plus, go over to the App Store, long hold on the Get button, upgrade downgrade, version 4.20 and 4.19 seem to both be working. It will allow you to open up the application. I believe this is before Outlook implemented their jailbreak detection system. So just use those versions and Outlook will work perfectly fine. I haven't actually logged in, so I'm gonna do that now just to double check. Yeah, so everything is working perfectly fine. I can access my mail. I'm not having any issues. There's no force closing. Even when I exit the app and open it again, it opens right up. So that's how you can bypass the jailbreak detection on Outlook for right now. As far as these other apps, McDonald's, I found that Shadow is working. Um, Shadow is this tweak right here. All I've been having to do is just go ahead to the very top, hit applications, find the application such as McDonald's, enable it. Same thing for Capriotis. And both of them seem to be working. I didn't have to configure any other settings in Shadow. I only configured this setting right here. All the rest are turned off. Um, also, A Bypass, which I will also link down in the description, seems to be working for McDonald's and Capriotis. The bypass method I'm using for USAA is called Alert Dismiss. So it basically just gives you the option to force dismiss the alert. You can go ahead and log in and use the app as normal and that is going to be on the same repo as Shadow. So I will link all of these down in the description. I do plan to make an updated jailbreak detection bypass once there are more apps compatible. I'm still looking for one for all the Nintendo apps and some other banking apps. But if you like the video, don't forget to smack that like button. If you love the video, remember to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh.